Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my kings and queens, welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers, it's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Tauruses back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising and Venus placements. Also the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to support your girl by clicking like, share, subscribe, and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can get future notifications to know when your girl will be uploading another video. And as you know, my Taurus Your Weekly does come with an extended. So in the extended, we dive deeper into the message. There's two links in the description box below this video. One is a membership option and one is a one-time access option. Both options is $5. The difference between the two is the membership option will allow you access to all of my Zodiac signs extended readings so you'll be able to check out all of your other placements if you choose to all right let's channel the energies what's the energy here we are going to do a heart to heart you versus them your person's feelings on this side your feelings on that side the mutual energy and then the blockage we're also going to get the zodiac signs that resonate with this reading and then close out with some advice from spirit before we go into the extended what's the energy here for my Taurus this person's feelings how are they feeling do they think about them what's the blockage here what is it that they truly want from this connection and what is the current situation? What's the energy here, Spirit, for their person? Last shuffle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have the star card showing up here, and then we have the ace of swords. We have the nine of pentacles, and then we have the king of swords. We have the four of wands, and then we have the six of wands. What is my Taurus's energy towards their person? What is my Taurus's energy towards their person? All right, so we got these two cards wanting to jump out. We have the five of wands and the death card. Let's see what other energies is coming through here. We have the seven of wands. We have the page of wands. We have the justice card. And then we have the five of pentacles. What is the mutual energy between the two? All right, this is standing out to me. And then what is the blockage? What is the blockage here, spirit? What's the blockage? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's grab this energy. All right, so let's go ahead and channel these energies. So for your person's feelings, they have the star and they have the ace of swords. And then they have the nine of pentacles and the king of swords and the four of wands and the six of wands. Let's start with the star and the ace of swords, okay? For this energy, I would definitely say your person is, you know, healing past some type of pain that this connection has caused okay with the star energy it speaks of you know moving past some type of hurt some type of trust issues that could be involved in the situation now with the ace of swords it speaks of mental clarity being restored to your person okay I do feel like this is about overcoming the situation, okay? There was something that transpired here between you and your person that your person feels like they need to overcome or they need to gain clarity to. Maybe something here had, that transpired here, you know, left a little bit of confusion for you and your person, okay? Because your person feels like they need to heal past this pain or heal past the situation. They feel like they needed to fight their way to get to this point, this new beginning, okay, is the energy. So your person could have gone through some type of transition transformation here is the energy that I'm seeing here on their part now we do have the nine of pentacles and the king of swords so I do feel like you know with this energy this speaks of singles energy but also to an energy of you know just enjoying the finer things in life this king of swords is someone who's very practical but very head over heart so this person could be very cold towards you at this time and pretty much just focusing on themselves and focusing on the things that make them most happy in life without any you know commitment responsibilities to any type of particular situation situation okay the king of swords is someone like i said is a very strong-minded individual very detached kind of energy here okay um i do feel like your person is seeking some type of maybe truth from the situation okay maybe you lied to your person is the energy coming through here because your person feels like they have to overcome something or they have to overcome this connection in order to move forward, in order to start anew. So it's almost like as if they're finding their way is the energy that I'm seeing, okay? For some of you, you could have been married to this person with the four of wands energy, 
okay? But this could be an energy of homecomings. I do feel like eventually in divine timing, this person could potentially want to come back around towards you. The Four of Wands with the Six of Wands energy, this is about victory. This is about success, okay? This is my coming home card for me, okay? Um, in tarot. For some people, it may be different meanings for them. But for me, it's the homecoming card. And I feel like this is an energy of someone remembering the love that you guys have shared together. Okay, this is someone remembering all of the, you know, good times or the home that you guys have built together here. This is about coming together. And the, the Six of Wands is a victory card. It means being rewarded. Okay, your hard work pays off here for you is the energy. Okay, so this person, I feel like it's going to take some time for them to come into this energy because, you know, right now they're still healing. They're still healing past some past hurt, some past pain. It could be trust issues is the energy here. But the star energy is also about positivity. And, you know, it's an energy about being recharging yourself. So this person is just recharging their energy. Regrouping is what I would say. Okay, but they're slowly but surely overcoming it they're slowly but surely coming into this state of mind where clarity is being restored to them as far as what it is that they're want they're wanting out of this connection now this king of swords is a parked energy so they are parked right now so you could possibly not be speaking to this person this person could have possibly blocked you as the energy coming through here you know they're working on themselves okay but i do feel like in divine timing this person's going to come together with you as the energy right down this road we have the star the nine of pentacles and then the four of wands it speaks of healing, you know, being single, healing, and then coming into a situation where you are wanting to come together with someone here. The Ace of Swords speaks of, and then we have the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Six of Wands. There's going to be a victory happening here, and I feel like this is between you and them. But for right now, they're cold in this Ace of Swords and this King of Swords energy. They need time to figure it out. On your end, we have the Five of Wands and the Death card. Something that you guys argued about or you had some type of disagreement about here is the energy. It could even mean maybe arguing about competition. Maybe someone felt like there was someone else involved. And you guys had an argument about that situation. That's what the Five of Wands energy is. It means chaos okay destruction things coming to an end over a particular situation that you guys could not see eye to eye on the death card here is about endings okay very strong energy so things ended between between you and your person things got a little bit you know hectic a little bit heightened here okay emotions were running high between the two of you okay the seven of wands energy clarified by the page of swords this is kind of conflicting energy on your part you know this is an energy of setting boundaries Okay, around yourself, you know, teaching this person how to love you, how to treat you, how to treat you, how to, you know, worship you is the energy here. But with this page of wands energy, I feel like you went on a new endeavor. Okay, this speaks of, you know, trying to find your way without this person in your life. Okay, is the energy that I'm seeing. But I also feel like you were also wanting this person to communicate with you. It's almost like as if, you know, a very conflicting type of energy. Even though you were setting up boundaries, okay, from this person, you were also wanting this person to communicate with you. Okay, you were wanting this person to, to you know, be a part of your life, be a part of your journey. But at the same token, you were holding back. Okay, if that makes sense. Okay, guys, that's the energy that I'm getting on your part. Now, we have the Justice card and the Five of Pentacles. You feel rejected by your person. You feel rejected by your person and you want justice for the situation. Okay, you want this person to right their wrongs in the in this case. Okay, Five of Pentacles energy is about, is about feeling left out in the cold, feeling unloved, feeling unappreciated by someone is the energy here. You feel like you got the bitter end of the stick and you want justice for it. Okay, you want this person to do right. You want to, you want this person to come in and speak their truth with you is the energy, okay? Let's see what the um mutual energy is here between the two of you. We have the sun card. <laughs> The sun card is here. The mutual energy between the two of you, the sun card speaks of success, being optimistic, good luck, you know, reconciliation. You both want to be together, okay? But I feel like, you know, this is just not coming together between the two of you, but do I feel like it will? I feel eventually, you know, I feel eventually once clarity is restored to your person and also too, um, I feel like your person's really and truly the whole back here. <laughs> you know, I was just going to say something about you, but I feel like your person is the whole back but that's okay this person is going through some type of transformation and transition they are figuring it out okay and they need that time to figure it out they cannot come in here be towards you before that time because you guys are just going to end back up at square one so this sun energy is letting me know you both want the same thing you both want the same goals 
okay or maybe at one point you weren't at that point but i'm seeing now it's coming into this energy where you both are wanting to be happy that's it period you both want to be happy let's see what the blockage is the blockage is the king of pentacles energy okay so someone here well my taurus i will say <laughs> this is your energy okay the the king of pentacles is taurus energy um taurus virgo capricorn so you know you could be the blockage here in the situation okay and what i mean by that is okay maybe you are someone who is very practical in situations you know you're someone who doesn't take much risks in situations that could be the energy here as well okay maybe you're the one who's very supportive very um loving caring things of that retrospect but at the same token you know and also too i heard this you are very supportive i feel like you're a very supportive person of this of your person okay i feel like though there's a struggle expressing emotions though okay although there's care here okay this could be a mutual energy as far as the blockage goes but i feel like someone here is more prone to you know, working on things as far as their finances go, building a future. It's almost like that's their focus. Their focus is building this empire, building the stable home, building this lifestyle together. That is what is most important to them, but they're losing sight of the relationship. They're losing sight of the connection. They're losing sight of compassion. They're losing sight of kindness. That's the energy here. It's almost like, you know, a practical kind of approach in this connection. Okay, where you're losing, that's where the spark is being lost between the two of you. It's so important to attain this level or attain this goal that you're missing out on, you know, building a stronger foundation in love. Okay, so this is where the connection is losing its way. Okay, it's almost like a lot of pressure is being put on the other person to be this way or to achieve this goal or attain this or attain that. That's the energy here. There was a lot of disagreements here between you and your person. Let's go ahead and get some more energies. All right, so what is the current situation? What is the current situation for my Taurus person? What's the current situation? What's the energy here, spirit? We need two cards. What's the current situation for my Taurus person? We have sacred journey. It says, understand who you truly are. This journey brings self-discovery. Didn't I say that? Can't make this shit up, guys. Okay, your person's in a space right now where they are figuring things out. They are on a journey. They are healing. Okay, they are healing. What's the energy here? What's the energy here? Let's get one more card. What's the energy? Okay, so this is standing out to me. Let's grab it. We have vibration, energy, and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. So this person is healing. Okay, this person is figuring things out as far as what is it that they want from this connection. They are working on themselves at this time, but also to enjoying life alone in solitude. Look at that, the bottom of the deck, solitude. <laughs> enjoying life alone in solitude, figuring it out, whether whatever that is for them, whether they're dating other people, whether they're, you know, focused on their finances, whether they are doing their best hobbies, they are still figuring it out along the way. But I tell you one thing, though, this person has you on their mind all the time okay is the energy here let's see what your energy is, is is in the situation what is my Taurus energy in the situation we have travel okay it says movement meeting adventure be ready for new experiences okay didn't i say that this page of wands energy okay speaks of you are on a new journey and new endeavors it could mean you know starting a new uh buying a new car purchasing a new home it could mean you know uh, starting a new job it could mean traveling it could mean anything right now but there's things happening within your life without this person in it okay you wish that this person could be in it to you know go along with the, in this journey with you Okay, for some of you, this person could be at a distance from you as well. Maybe you're traveling towards this person. Maybe they travel towards you is the energy here. But there's definitely an energy of movement happening around you. Okay, things are movement, moving. Parts are moving in your life is the energy. What are the energies surrounding you? What are the energies here? What are the energies surrounding you? What are the energy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have soulmate. You think this person's your soulmate? Okay, you feel like you're supposed to be with this person is the energy. It's this compatibility, companionship, your best life partner. You feel that like this person is your soulmate. Okay, you want to be with this person. Okay, look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Settling, it says sc scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith, believe that you deserve the best. Okay, but at the same token, sometimes you feel like you're settling. 
okay that's the energy surrounding you as well it's like you feel like this person's your soulmate but you feel like you're settling so you could be the one that wants more from your person or want your person to do more in the connection okay because your energy is coming in here as towards as far as the blockage goes okay but i feel like the goal for the two of you you both just want to be happy let's see what energy is this coming through what's the energy what's the zodiac sign that's coming through we're gonna get three cards What's the zodiac sign coming through for my Taurus? Thank you. We have Gemini. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Is the energy coming through here? What are the energies coming through for my Taurus? What are the energies coming through for my Taurus? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we also have Leo. You could be dealing with the Leo. Is the energy here as well? Let's get one more card. What's the energy coming through for my Taurus? What's the energy coming through for my Taurus? Let's see what that is. I believe it was Pisces, but let me grab it, guys. It fell on the floor. All right. No, it wasn't Pisces. It was a Cancer. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Leo, or a Cancer is the energy coming through in the reading. Let's go ahead and close out with some advice. What's the advice? What's the advice for my Taurus? What's the advice for my Taurus? What's the advice for my Taurus? One card, Spirit. What's the advice? One card. What's the energy here for my Taurus? All right, so we have, we're going to take the top one that flew. It says, Lioness, you have earned your stripes. All your stripes. It says, you've earned all your stripes. So this is an energy, okay? Uh, the spirit guy's letting you know everything that you've been through, it was for a reason, but it made you who you are, okay? Is the energy that's surrounding you, okay? Um, I do feel like this is you, at one point in the connection, you wanted this fairy tale. You wanted things to be a certain way, and it didn't happen that way for you, is the energy, okay? So this is an energy of letting you know you've earned all your stripes. Everything that happened, happened the way that it was supposed to, okay? But at the same token, you know, um, don't be oblivious or don't be naive, um, to think that things are always going to work out the way that you anticipated. Sometimes life goes a different direction, but it's, it goes in a direction to build who you are as a person, okay? It's a way that we dis rediscover ourselves, okay? Become more one with ourselves is the energy here. But I do feel like something is brewing here, okay, between the two of you. But I'm going to find out in the extended. In the extended, we're going to find out their next move. Are they truly happy in their current situation? Will you guys reconcile? Is there a third party? Do they love this third party if there's a third party? When will they make contact with you again? And what's their intentions when they make contact? contact if they make contact okay and then we're going to close out with some advice from spirit all right my tauruses thank you guys so much bye i guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply